What's up, fellers? I'm, I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. This is my buddy Charlie right here. About six, eight weeks ago, I was at the Rural King in Ocala. We had this little alligator seminar. He showed up. There's a bunch of people, like 100 people. And uh, at the end of it, I said, hey, whatever. Everybody, if you want to be in a drawing to win a free gator hunt with me, throw your name in a hat. Everyone put their name in a hat. Charlie won. And uh, super good guy. And it's very exciting. Came out here. We're on Orange Lake right now. And for any of you thinking about applying for gator tags on Orange Lake, I would advise against it. We've been, <laughs> we've been out here all afternoon now. Got two baits out. Let me show you what we're using for bait real quick. That's a pre-packaged beef lung. It's already pre-rigged by Gator Pro. I just stopped by and was like, I need some baits. And uh, he hooked me up. So we came out. We're all the way to the north. Big slough to the west of us. A big drainage canal to the south of us. And open water to the north and to the east of us. There should be gators trying to get in the boat with us right now. <laughs> and we haven't seen one yet. But we will. Bait's way over there. I put it out on a point so that when the gator comes out, be real quiet. <laughs> Jerk the bait. He'll come out, eat it, give it to him, go catch him. Now, once your once your gator eats the bait, you've got to get close to him. Either get a harpoon dart in him or take a throw hook, hook him with that throw hook. Once that happens, you're gonna actually kill the alligator with this right here. That is a bang stick. Now this one has been bit, chewed on, thrown down, kicked in the mud, but it's killed a lot of alligators. And the bullet will sit right in here. There's a firing pin in here, and there's a spring. Whenever you hit the gator on the head, that's why we call it a bang stick. This will depress and drive the firing pin into the back of the bullet. Pow! Instantly, all the all the hot gas and bullet will go through. You don't want to hit the gator in the hard part of the head. You want to hit him in the back of the neck and try to sever his spine. And it's an instant, painless, lethal kill. But first, we need to find an alligator before any of that happens. Look at the gator going to it. Look how fast he's going to it. See the gator going oh to it? Oh God. Pretty good shot boy. He's about to eat it right now. Watch. Be quiet, y'all. Yeah, we got him, dude. Yeah, he's got it. This is what we he's came for right, right here, baby. What? Oh, oh. All right, you're powerful from the structure now. All right. <laughs> so we're going to ease up here and try to get a hook into him. Go to the right a little bit. We want him to be out in open water. I always say, and remember this, a lot of y'all are watching for entertainment. Some of you are watching because you're gator hunters. If your gator goes up into a bunch of stuff, nine times out of ten, it's a smaller gator. If he goes out into the big water, neutral, real, 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 real. Um, if he goes out into the big water, nine times out of 10, he's gonna be a big gator. Always remember that. We have a serious invasion of chisley winks, bearded mosquitoes that are devouring us. Neutral, see how the gator's running on the bottom right here? Neutral, put a bit in your rod to the right, hold to the right. Back up a hair. Back. Gator just bit the, the hook here. Neutral. Put it in reverse right here. Neutral. Get him! Get right him! There. Perfect. 
crushed it, John. <laughs> Teamwork. All right, you guys. First third of this is done. The catch, Woo! we got him. Ooh, yeah. Listen, that is so textbook. Where you hit this gator, it's not even funny. Textbook. Well, Dustin knows what a good shot I am. <laughs> yes, I do. Why do I feel like that's a <laughs> inside joke? Well, there you go, boys and girls. That is a good looking gator. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> that is nice. Now we just gotta untangle stuff and get the other one. Okay, tag him. Push it all the way in. There you go, good, it's tagged. Gator in the boat, that's what we came for. Gator done! Gator done! All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that alligator hunt. I'm out here with my big bro, this old big Cliff. <laughs> Cliff actually was a big time alligator hunter for many years. He processed, if, tell me right now, real quick, how many alligators do you think you've processed in your life? Several thousand. Okay, several <laughs> thousand. He has processed so many alligators, it's not even funny. Last night was amazing. I really, We should have caught like 11 footer, but a bunch of bad things happened. We caught a really nice eight footer. Let's go right now. The video you're about to see, I filmed last year. All right, you guys, so last night was pretty amazing. We got out there. And when you can be on the marsh or on a lake and it's that beautiful, that's what memories, that's what great times are made of. We caught a beautiful gator, exactly eight feet long, perfect size to cook. Alligator meat is best when fried. If you are going to fry something, that is Everglades all-purpose breader. I'm telling you right now, this all-purpose breader is out of fairy tales. It is amazing. Any alligator meat is good to eat. Now you can see there's some connective tissue, some sinuate there. That makes it tough. That has been ran through a cuber. This has not been run through a cuber. Let's see which one we like best. We're going to start off with the uncubed. Make sure your meat's nice clean. Toss it in the breader. You're ready to go. I'm cooking with some vegetable oil right here. Take it right out, see how nice and coated it is? Drop it in there. And you're cooking. I like my oil to be about 350 degrees. That'll give it a nice crispy outside and it'll cook the inside perfectly. Now, while that cooks, we're gonna take some of our cubed alligator meat Throw it in the same bag. Make sure it's closed. Otherwise, there's a good chance you're gonna to toss this all over your kitchen. And if you're married, your wife will be pissed at you. <laughs> I am so known for destroying kitchens. That's pretty stuff right there, y'all. Fried gator tail. This has been cubed. What I want to see is, does it make a difference? These are going to be a little bit bigger pieces. They've been ran through a cuber and we'll see if it makes a difference. If any of you are interested, you can go on evergladeseasoning.com, use promo code DMFD, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Um, I know like so many of you have already bought Everglades, but if you needed a little new stash or want to buy some more, it'll save you a few bucks. Just go on to EvergladeSeasoning.com. We have reached my favorite part. We are about to eat. Now, I am famous for burning my mouth. So I'm just gonna give this just a couple minutes. It'll cool down and then we're gonna taste it. Let's take a taste test. That's a little sweet chili sauce. Amazing flavor, a little chewy, not too terribly bad. It isn't like I got a gnaw on it. Mm. 
own taste base, taste to piece without the chili sauce. Perfect amount of crunch. I actually like that it's a little chewy, you know? Now, this has been cubed. Whenever I refer to cubing, it's a roller with teeth. And when you put the meat through it, it, uh, it like tenderizes it. It's called cubed. Something about it, I just think you could. I like this more. No, I, no doubt I like this more. The cubed meat is just jumps out at you. The the texture, the taste. Mm. All day, twice on Sunday. That's amazing. Who would think an ugly old alligator would taste so good? I want to give huge props to Jeff LaSera at GatorProHuntingLight.com. If you're going on an alligator hunt or if you need anything, you can even buy meat from him. <clears throat> Go to HuntingLight.com. Jeff LaSera is a very dear personal friend of mine. He's been a part of Deer Meat for Dinner since the very beginning. And I love the guy, his wife, his son, daughter, daughter-in-law. I love the whole Lacera clan. You guys are like family to me. Everyone else out there, I love y'all too. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Alligators are totally sustainable. They're thriving. And they're amazing to hunt and eat. So that's all I got for you today. We will have lots more this week, but for now, we are gone.